A beautiful Rumi quote, out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. And what I love about the imagery in that little verse is that you can, you can interpret field literally and, and, and there's something sort of evocative, um, quite biblical like David in the Psalms about lying down in the grass with the Lord, that, that like two, two friends, two lovers, just sharing a beautiful afternoon together. And there's something about that sort of imagery that brings back an innocence. It's used a lot in, in, in pre-war movies, you know, sort of before World War II or World War I or, 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 or of a simpler time, that notion of, of lying together in a field. And, and you can also hear it in terms of what it is a metaphor for, which is the, the field of being, what in science they would call the quantum field, the energy field out of which all form arises, what Rupert Sheldrake called the morphogenetic field, that we are all connected by and in. And what separates us from that field are all ideas of right doing, and wrongdoing of good and bad, of good and evil. And so rather than trying to resolve, well, which right is right and which wrong is wrong, and is our right right and their wrong wrong, or is our right wrong and their wrong right, instead of even playing in that domain, we go out beyond that conversation, we go to a level of consciousness where that idea doesn't even make sense. Before good, bad, right, wrong. And, and we meet in that place beyond our opinions, beyond our beliefs, beyond our life experiences. And, and there's something beautiful about meeting there because we can meet anyone there. We can meet in recognition and connection without agreement. We can meet soul to soul even if in the form we would disagree. It's Romeo and Juliet. It's Tony and Maria in West Side Story. It's every star-crossed lover. It's the soldiers in World War I playing an impromptu game of football on Christmas Eve in no man's land. It's a recognition that beyond our differences, we are all the same. And when the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. And for me, it's the inner world is too full to talk about. There is so much love. There is so much peace. There is so much beauty. Words don't help anymore. Sometimes words help point us towards experience, but sometimes the experience is so far beyond the word that words can only shrink the experience back down. It can pull it back down from the divine to the human. And so in a really kind of a simplistic way, there's a point in this conversation about spirit and humanity and divinity where there's really nothing left to say but cool. Wow.